Has the government really spent $8 million on making mice transgender? $8 million for making mice transgender. Is it real? Here's some more context. This is real. The president made this claim during a joint address to the U.S. Congress on Tuesday as he was speaking about the Department of Government Efficiency. A group of very intelligent, mostly young people headed up by Elon, and we appreciate it. The president claimed that scientists are making mice transgender. The White House followed up on that claim, pushing out this release on Wednesday. It lists six government-funded health studies totaling around $8.3 million. We looked through all of them. Here is what we found. Scientists are not trying to make mice transgender. However, they are studying the impacts of hormone therapy, which can be used for gender-affirming healthcare. Look at this one, for example. Researchers at Indiana University are using $3.1 million in federal funds to study whether the estrogen hormone might contribute to a greater chance of asthma in women. This one, for $455,000, uses mice to study how certain hormone therapies may impact someone's immune response to an HIV vaccine. Another one examines how gender-affirming hormone therapy may impact someone's risk for breast cancer. Two more look into the impact of hormone therapies, one on how testosterone may affect fertility, the other on the impact to the gut microbiome. The last one, a $1.2 million NIH grant uses transgenic mice, not transgender mice. And the study focuses on improving healthcare outcomes for LGBTQ plus patients. So with all of that said, is this claim true? $8 million for making mice transgender. Many of the studies were looking into hormone therapies and their impacts on health outcomes. However, there is no evidence in any of the research or the reports that we looked into that suggests these studies were funded specifically to make mice transgender. In Cincinnati, Connor Steffen, WCPO 9 News.